hi good evening today the topic for discussion is ivc collapsibility index in this video we will see what is it and why it is required first this ivc collapsibility index or the inferior vena kaval collapsibility index is also called the kaval index why we require it There is some spelling mistake over here. It is collapsibility index. Why? As a nephrologist, we have to know the exact volume status of the patient to decide upon the dialysis and to decide upon how much IV fluid have to be given. Even though there are many parameters for the volume assessment, but IVC collapsibility index is a corner store or important, especially in the ICUs. Because in ICU, there will be a lot of sick patient managing the iv fluid and the sled is the speciality of the nephrology so we have to be aware of this collapsibility index and what is the problem in absolute value of ivc for example this is a echo showing the inferior vena cava suppose if we measure the ivc diameter at this point of time sometime it might be 20 mm sometime it might be 18 mm many medicine resident might go with the absolute value even in a uh, many eco reports the absolute value will be given but what is the important drawback of the absolute value of the ivc is for example if we take the big show for him the ivc of 20 mm might be smaller but a same absolute value of 20 mm for this girl might be bigger so absolute value might be falsely giving wrong impression about the volume status so as a nephrologist we have to be aware of this collapsibility index what is it see the ivc is there like this in cut section we will be taking it will be collapsing and expanding variation with the inspiration and expiration with the expiration normally as we expire the intrathoracic volume increases so the ivc dilates this is the maximum diameter and during the inspiration the ivc collapses so this is the minimum diameter so there is a ivc like this much length so like this there will be some variation with the respiratory movements so we are going to catch the maximum diameter of the inferior vena cava minus the minimum diameter of the inferior vena cava divided by the maximum diameter this is called as the collapsibility index basically we are seeing how much the ivc is collapsing with the respiratory variation in terms the collapsibility index nothing but it is the difference between the maximum that is the expiratory diameter minus the minimum diameter that is minimum during the inspiration or that occurs with the respiration divided by the maximum diameter just we are comparing it how much it have collapsed in gross terms if you remember 50 percent collapsibility if it is there that means patient is almost might respond to vol uh, volume replacement the patient is not grossly overloaded so in theoretical terms what it might be for example if the patient is volume overloaded the ivc might not collapse it is totally distended Suppose if the patient is volume depleted, the IVC will change us with variation. So if we put it in the formula, in a volume depleted patient, as we see as maximum diameter minus minimum diameter divided by maximum. Suppose if minimum diameter is zero, probably max by max, whatever the diameter may be, you put it in technical terms. For example, 11 mm minus zero because it is absolutely collapsing theoretical point of view it will come as one and in percentage wise it is 100 so in a volume depleted person it ranges to 100 suppose if the patient is volume overloaded there is no movement at all like this maximum and minimum value will be same so in the nominator numerator maximum minus minimum by maximum so it might be the same so you will get zero by whatever the value so again zero then so percentage also zero so theoretically the range is from zero to hundred percent for the practical value 
if the collapsibility index is 50 percentage that is means the patient might respond to fluid the patient is not volume overloaded so this is regarding the collapsibility index theoretic theoretical part so absolute value also many uh, literature says about 20 mm probably with the collapsibility index as a nephrologist we follow this percentage collapse and one important parameter to note over here is with the correct clinical situation it won't apply everywhere you just get the collapse and it is foolproof no because there are some situation where this have to be avoided even though i'm not going in the details of the minute variations the clinical situation might bring it on two important parameters are one is the positive pressure ventilation whenever the patient is on ventilator very difficult to rely on the collapsibility index and it might give a false values and when the patient is having cardiac tamponade then also there might be some false values with respect to the collapsibility index probably this might be for the dm resident in the exam they might ask but for md just go uh, for the volume status think of this collapsibility index and the other one is how to check it so in the echo probably a final year resident might be knowing how to operate the echo in the echo probe catch the liver and the place where it is joining with the heart ivc so here we will get the absolute value in the when we are getting the absolute value in the real time put the patient under m mode if you put the m mode ivc will be appearing like this the entire changes with the respiration we can easily see here it is the ivc as you see here it is varying with respiration so probably i will change the color to red so this is the maximum diameter and as we see this is the minimum diameter so probably it might be 10 whatever the absolute value is we have to take the maximum value probably 20 mm minus minimum value probably 5 mm or 10 mm divided by the maximum value so it will give the collapsibility index in percentage so this is how we will calculate the collapsibility index in icu if there is a echo machine in the icu medicine residents can try to operate and get the ivc status and once you are confident in getting the ivc status you can go on to check the collapsibility index and there is a real time short video that i have uploaded in the channel the link is in the description you can see how we have calculated the collapsibility index in that video we showed how the graph comes how the measurement was taken between the two maximum and minimum the value will come over here once the value comes the index won't come index you have to calculate so that's all this is all about collapsibility index bye bye